What up, Zoconners? We are going to be looking at the 200% showcase for the STR Super Saiyan Son Goku and the Super Saiyan Gohan. Finally, I have gotten these units at max links. All of the four new units from the Dual Dokkan Festival celebrations have all been maxed out. So we're going to be taking a look at this unit at 55% and 79%. So you're going to be getting a double dose of Dokkan in this video. So hopefully you guys buckle in and enjoy this. Now, how this unit works, I'm going to put some timestamps in the description so you guys can skip ahead if you don't want to stick around for this. I'm going to first talk about the unit, how he functions on the team. Then we're going to go into Super Battle Road at 55%, and then we're going to switch over to 79% Legendary Goku event or Vegeta event, whichever one we want to do. So how this guy functions, Super Saiyan's Goku's family key plus three, 170% stats, plus an additional stats plus 30 for characters who belong to the Android Cell Saga category. For the super attack, raises attack permanently, raises defense for one turn, cause immense damage with a high chance to stun. For the passive attack and defense plus 180, plus an additional attack and defense plus 59% when performing a super attack. Here's the kicker. High chance to evade enemies attack, including super attack within the same turn after performing a super attack for five turns from the start of the turn. That is unfortunate. You have to perform the super attack before you can have the ability to dodge, which is ironic because he has a high chance to stun. So if you stun the target that you're trying to dodge from, kind of a moot point. So that is one detriment to this unit. Then he falls down to a 30% chance to dodge when performing a super attack from the sixth turn onwards. He also gains attack and defense plus 20% up to 59% with each attack evaded. So he kind of has that ultra instinct Goku mechanic where he stacks upon dodge. Now this unit is basically a stall tactic because he's trying to feel out Cell and then he wants to have his son step in and actually take on Cell in his true form. So that's what basically happens here. You stall for a couple of turns. After you perform three super attacks, the next available turn you will enter and you will have the option to exchange into the Gohan, which is not going to be happening on the 55% Super Battle Road. I'll tell you that right now. We are not going to be getting this Gohan during the Super Battle Road portion of this video. He greatly raises attack and defense for one turn, causes immense damage, and then attack and defense plus 180%, plus an additional attack plus 58%. When within the same turn after receiving an attack, raises defense up to 100%. The more HP remaining, the greater the defense boost. Here's the best part. Guards all attacks for three turns from the start of the turn. So what's cool about this is that this unit opens with a guaranteed guard. And what's fun about this, I think some people might not like it. I like it because you're now in a race against the clock. In these three turns that you have guaranteed guard, you have to capitalize as much as possible so that you can trigger the cascade of effects that would possibly trigger if you get all the guards. If you get two guards, you will get defense plus 58% permanently. If you get four guards, you will get attack and defense plus 58% permanently. If you get six guards, you will then have guaranteed guard for the rest of the fight. And then on top of that, you have a 70% chance to dodge a key blast super attack and counter with ferocious power. Not tremendous power, ferocious power. So it's a very interesting mechanic. I like how it works because it's very different. But unfortunately, you are going to have to get a little bit lucky with your attacks and your guards and everything. So it is a very conditional unit, but in a fun way. So now when it comes to the actual execution of that ability, we're not going to see that until the later portion of the video. But right now, we're going to be primarily seeing the Super Saiyan Goku in action on a Goku's family team. And we're going to do so. I don't want to bring this rainbow Goku. I want to save that. I'm just going to use a 700% Goku instead. So this is what you want to be doing. You want to have a reliable slot one because the Goku is not a reliable slot one. You got to bring Heartfire's Goku, who can tank like crazy for the first five turns. And you can also bring the Physical Future Gohan, who is also an incredible tank. Either one is a fantastic slot one for the Goku. And then once the Goku can launch a super attack, you're good to go. The thing about this guy, since he's at 55%, he has no additional. His base stat goes to critical. So you actually have to spend three separate turns performing three separate super attacks, which means on the fourth turn, only then can you exchange this Goku into the Gohan. That's not going to happen on Super Battle Road, no matter what. It's just not going to happen. Unless you are really stalling, it's not going to happen. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to have a slot one Heart Virus Goku, slot one Future Gohan, accompanied by, by the two new units. And then we're going to have supports with Kid Gohan, Xeno Super Saiyan Goku, and the Future Gohan. So with that said, let's jump in. All right, let's do this. This is going to be a very wordy video. I got a lot of stuff to say about it. Oh, come on. <laughs> he got them both in the same turn. Okay, fine. Well, you know what? You're going to see the dangers of putting this guy in the slot one. We're going to we're going to demonstrate just what could happen if you throw this guy on slot one. So the friend unit, let me actually take a look at the friend unit. Friend unit is he's got 20 additional and 15 additional critical and max links. By the way, regarding the build of the unit, I will say right now, I would prefer additional because your sole objective 
is to get this stupid Goku out of the way. You want to get this Goku out of the way as quickly as possible. The only conceivable way that you can do that, the earliest time that you can do that, is on the third turn that this unit reappears. Because within the first two turns, if you can launch an additional super attack, that will be your ticket to get a much faster exchange into the Gohan. So that is your number one priority. And then whatever balance you have left can go into your critical. So that's what this person did, which is good. And we are opening with a 256,000 attack, 147,000 defense. I'm going to have my 55% take this attack. I want to see what happens. So I'm going to have him attack the Vegeta because obviously type disadvantage. We've got to be a little careful there. And then we'll have the Gohan go after King Vegeta. I am going to use a Whis. Wait, did I already use one? Why do I only have one Whis? I haven't used an item yet. What the heck? Did I use an... Okay, I might have just had sudden amnesia. I don't know if I used a Whis or not. Whatever. All right, let's attack. Uh, let's attack. Kid Vegeta. Am I going crazy? There's no way I just used a item, is there? Okay. So we got lucky. No super attack. That still would have hurt um, under normal circumstances. So that's why I used an item. All right. We raised our defense. And look at that. 50% chance to dodge. Dodged one. Didn't dodge the other. Oh, okay. We dodged half. There you go. That's why he's a better slot too. Sometimes I forget that I'm doing a regular Super Battle Road. Okay, let's see how much damage we can do on uh, the Vegeta here. No stun, really? So he got the additional, but it wasn't a super attack. So we're out of luck on that one. All right, so for this turn, oof. Oof, that's rough. All right, this is pretty much a wash, I think. Because we're probably going to wipe these guys out in this turn. So, yeah, we're going to have to wait until the next round. That is just the nature of the beast, people. When it comes to showcases, things always go wrong. Always. I have a feeling I will not get that counter to trigger at all. Knowing my luck, I will not get that counter. 70% chance. Right now, folks, I am in... I am in... I'm down bad. The Android Cell Saga banner really destroyed my morale and my wallet. So I, I'm not feeling so hot about my odds on just anything happening. Okay. And uh, yeah, we're, we're definitely going to kill him here. <laughs> These two guys are going to take him out. There's one. And now we got type advantage. So bye-bye. This is why we're going to be doing an extra dose of Dokkan in this video. Because I don't think one round of an event is enough to showcase what I want to showcase on this unit. There's going to be plenty more videos on this unit in terms of its leader skill how it functions with other teammates. So there's going to be plenty more. So make sure you guys are subscribed so you guys don't miss any of that stuff. Because when it came to the 200% Vegeta lead, I went crazy on the videos. There's going to be so much more now with more 200% leads on this team. Okay, so for this one, I kind of just want to see... Yeah, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to have the Heavenly Events Gohan go after... Hmm... Yeah, I'm going to have the Heavenly Events Gohan go after Trunks. I don't really want to stun whatever i'd rather stun the trunks okay then we'll have the goku go after trunks as well vegeta is the one that i want attacking because i want to actually have some risk here and then at the end we'll have the xeno super saiyan attack vegeta so hopefully gohan doesn't stun and hopefully gohan doesn't take too much damage from those two attacks okay not not bad that's fine we boosted our defense all right nothing cool perfect now we are attacking Trunks. Piccolo. Actually, we'll save that for the other video. Piccolo. You stunned him. All right, cool. Dodge, man. Dodge, baby. Really? All right, one out of three. We dodged it. But that's basically how he works. We got one super attack off during this fight. Now we have to get two more super attacks with that Goku. It can't be two with that one and one with this guy. We got to get three super attacks with each of these guys. That ain't happening. All right, so now since the Trunks is stunned, that's perfect. We can go after the Vegeta, but since we want to show off his dodging, I'm going to go after the Trunks instead. Then I'm going to have the Heart Virus Goku attack whoever's left, and then Future Gohan can do whatever. Five million attacks that, by the way. This is for the 
friend unit. And he's dead. He got the additional, but it wasn't a super attack. Man, that's a real bummer. You want to be putting as much additional as you can into this guy. So if you guys have him at 55%, then you can't really expect more than this. You're only really going to have the Goku in the heat of battle. That's that's pretty much all it's going to be. If you're going to be jumping into the legendary Goku event, then you will be able to actually use the unit into its fullest potential. But yeah, unfortunately, unless you've got some really nice silver skill orbs or bronze skill orbs, it's not happening. All right, so now we finally have the rotation that we want. Physical feature Gohan obviously has to go first. I mean, look what's happening here. Duh. So let's have uh, let's have physical feature Gohan go first. We'll have him attack. We'll have him attack the Trunks. Then we'll have the Super Saiyan Goku also attack Trunks. I want to have the Vegeta actually attack me. And then we'll have Go. We'll just have everybody attack Trunks. Let's just kill Trunks. Nobody likes Trunks. That's not true. I know you guys like Trunks, but. See, I was gonna put <laughs> I was gonna put Super Saiyan Goku in slot one. Imagine if I did. Game over. Okay. Huh? Yep. Lay it on me. That's a lot of damage, actually. That's a lot of damage. All right. And we stun the trunks. Perfect. And we couldn't dodge. Great. That's all there is to it, folks. And that concludes Super Battle. Oh, no, no, never mind. We still have to kill him. All right. Now we're actually just going to kill him. We don't need to pull any punches. Let's just murder him. All right. So Vegeta uh, will kill you right now. So bye bye. And then if you're somehow still alive, blah, blah, blah. And then we do this, yada, yada, yada. This turn, we should take them all out. Oh, he's attacking again. Slot one, baby. What is that, a 4 million attack stat? Two point seven. there you go. Another one. Kind of was expecting these guys to kill him here, but I'm a little surprised. Okay. 1.4 additional Goku should take him out this is the 79% so he should take him out 4.5 million attacks that with the 40% support yep you're dead bye bye again failed to launch an additional super attack all right let's put physical future up front followed by Son Goku and then Gohan and that is GG's for phase one of the showcase, but we're not done. There's plenty more showcasing in this video. Hopefully you guys enjoy the longer video session for this one. I, I could have made this into two videos, but I felt like it was, it would have been a lot more impactful to show the discrepancy between the two units in the same video. But there we go. That wraps up the Goku's family one. So now let me put some orbs into the unit and then we will jump into the legendary Goku event. We'll probably just do the legendary GT Goku event. All right, so now let me go to hidden potential. And then let's find STR. What the heck? Oh, right. There we go. Okay. STR, where are you? 55%. There you go. Okay. So like I said, maximum additional is the number one priority, which is exactly what we're going to be doing. Go max additional. Da boom. And then we'll put critical, sure. We'll put additional, additional, additional. Ooh. Critical and additional. There we go. So we've got a 15 additional and we've got an 11 critical. Now I want to add more additional here. Um, so what do we want to do? Let's give him some. What's a level four additional? Let's just give this one. Who cares? No. What do I want to do? <laughs> I actually didn't think this through. What skill orb should I give him? I'm a little scared. You know what? Fine. We'll just do this. I really hope I don't make a huge mistake here. All right. So we gave him four additional. I unfortunately don't have any silver additionals. 
My silver game is bad. And I only have this one. We'll just throw that in there. Fine. All right, folks. Now we are going to be taking on the legendary Goku event with the 79%. Son Goku. And Gohan. And we are bringing a rainbow friend unit. And obviously the main objective is to maximize those additionals so that we can get a turn three Gohan exchange mechanic. If we can't do that, it's just going to take a little bit longer. But since we're doing the legendary Goku event, we can afford those extra turns. We are bringing the future Gohan again for tanking. We are now bringing the AGL LR Gohan for the defensive stacking. He's going to be a great unit to accompany the exchange Gohan. We've got the base Zeno and the Super Saiyan Zeno Goku. And we've got an extra guarding unit with the ultimate Gohan who can stack like crazy. So with that said, let's jump in. All right, let's do this. All right, I will probably have to use items to ensure that we don't get destroyed in that great ape phase. But other than that, we should be good. And I think, oh, we got a nice start. Okay, so first rotation is good. Second, oh, perfect. Both rotations are good. Only thing is the future Gohan is going to take a little time to show up on the other rotation. That's fine. All right, so since this is the friend unit, this is a 100%. Is it max links? Let's hope it is. It's not. But additionals and critical. Oh, man, he focused on critical more than additional. Fine. We got a 34% chance for an additional. Let's see if we can do it. So let's have the Son Goku go first. Then we'll have the Gohan go second, followed by Xeno Super Saiyan going third. Let's see how this goes. What is that, a 6 million attack stat? Oh, right. You know what I should have done? I should have had him go... Oops. I should have had him go second. That way he has a chance to dodge. We want him to dodge because we want him to gain those stats. So Toon did an oopsie. Wait, what? Did we kill him? Oh, yeah, we did. Okay. All right. Okay, let's go. So here we are taking four shots in the first slot. We're taking two hits on the second portion of each of the first two slots. So we can afford to have the Gohan go in the first slot so he can get some stacking early. Then we'll have the Super Saiyan Goku go second. And then we will have the Xeno go third. Either way, Super Saiyan Goku will be facing two attacks, which is good. We can get this guy some stacking early because, you know, if things go really south at the end of the video, I want to have an ultimate Gohan who is reinforced and ready to go. Yeah, so this is going to do nothing. Fantastic. Perfect. 4.8 million attacks at four. Son Goku. 4. Didn't get the additional. Didn't dodge there and dodge there. So we got one stack. So we can stack two more times while the Goku is in the picture. Okay. So now here, um, we're going to have the Goku go second because that means we can dodge more. Actually, oh no. You know what? All right. You know what? I'm going to take a chance. I'm going to take a chance. It doesn't matter. I goofed. You know why I goofed? Because no matter, how you, no matter how you spin it, we're going to kill the guy this turn. Goku's not going to be able to dodge at all. So if anything, we're just praying that we can get one defensive stack on this Gohan before the Super Saiyan Goku kills him. No! And that's why we are doing the Legendary Goku event, folks. So that we can spend the extra time doing all this nonsense. All right. Let's have you go first. Then we'll have you go. Really hoping we don't get blasted with a super attack first turn. First slot. Don't do it. Thank y'all. All right. So we took a little bit of a detour there on the friend unit. But I guess, you know what? I wanted to have my unit get the exchange mechanic first. So that's why I did. I sabotaged the friend unit on purpose. Two. Actually, wait. One. I don't remember. I've lost. Oh, man. That cost us our defense a little bit. I forgot the defense nerfing is a thing on the legendary Goku event. Okay, whatever. We got one uh, one dodge, so that's fine. Unfortunately, though, because I kind of screwed around a little bit, I, we are going to be losing the dodge. It's not going to be 50% anymore. It's going to be 30%. So the chance of the stacking has now reduced tremendously because we have to pray for a 30% chance to dodge as opposed to a 50. So that's a, that's a, that's a tune L right there. Uh, let's see. What kind of attacks are we looking at here? Um, let's just have the Goku go first. Only one opportunity to dodge for him anyway, so what does it matter? 
I'm, I'm assuming by the time we get to the Great Ape, we will have both Gohans out on the field. 6.2 million attacks after the Goku. You can't deny the dude doesn't... He hits hard. Like, he hits very hard. It's just that the extra perks that come along with them, we're not too thrilled about that. Yo, he got two super attacks. He's all good to go. When we get to the Great Ape, he's ready. Ooh, very nice. I'm probably going to have to use an item, though, because that base Zeno Goku is not stacking at all. And when we get to Great Ape, he's going to get me vaporized. All right. So one Goku is ready to transform. This guy is not. He's not there yet. All right. So let's have Ultimate Gohan go first. Then we will have Son Goku go second. I am praying that I don't... Actually, you know what? I should have probably... I forgot to rotate in the future, Gohan. I goof. Uh, I am praying that... That 50% chance to dodge. Oh, you know what? It's at 30%. Hopefully he can attack twice. Help. You know what? One thing we're also showcasing, folks, that this unit should be idiot-proof. If I, a certified idiot, can use this unit and succeed, then you can too. There's one... Oh god. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. You want to dodge now? Thank you. Thank you for dodging. <laughs> Thank you. Good dodge. I'm so happy you did that. Half a million. Okay. Uh, we're going to need another, what, three, four turns for future going to show up on the appropriate rotation. Let's get the exchange mechanic to take place, shall we? I give up. I learned how strong you really are. That's it. I quit. Go. On. It's your turn, son. You what? You can do it. Uh, all right. I'll try. Any LR Gohan user gets PTSD when they see that that stance at the end. All right. So now, folks, we are on the clock. Why? Because we need to guard. We have guaranteed guard for three turns, and this is where the, the mini game kicks in. Your admission, should you choose to accept it, is to guard six times within the three turns that you have guaranteed guard. Thankfully for us, we have four attacks now that are all going to be guarded, so we are going to be over halfway there for that guaranteed guard. So in this turn, we're going to gain 58% defense, and then another attack and defense plus 58%. So let's have him go first. And we could also, we might even be able to counter the super attack. And, uh, because I think this is a key based super attack. So let's see if that can happen too. Let's see how we do here. One guard. Two guard. 7.5 million attack stat. 2.2. All right. Wow. Three guard and four guard. Look at that. So we gain attack and defense plus 58% and defense plus 58%. So that Gohan is now beefed out like crazy. Unfortunately, that's the 100% one. Mine is a little slower because I made a boo-boo. But now we can do it. <laughs> so that's good. Let's, uh, let's do it again, shall we? I give up. I learned how strong you really are. That's it. I quit. Go. It's your turn, son. You can do it. Uh, all right. I'll try. That's it. I quit. In another universe, I would have said that to Goresh. All right. So here we go. Same exact deal. What's the setup now? We got 580 something thousand attack 203,000 defense solid in comparison to the ultimate gohan who's been stacking throughout that's actually a pretty good uh that's a really good comparison i think so uh, that puts things into context a little bit into perspective i should say now what's going on here we've got one two three four attacks headed in the first slot and then the second slot one two three four okay so we've got we've got four attacks happening no matter which way we go. So let's have Ultimate Gohan stay in the second slot. We'll have the 
we'll have the str gohan go first then we'll have ultimate gohan go second followed by base xeno going third let's see all of this guarding in action one two three So we've gained defense plus 58%. One more attack to guard, and we will gain another attack and defense plus 58%. There it is. So now both Gohans have guarded four out of the six times in their first appearance. So we are making really good time, basically. So we're good to go. Because when we get both of them at guaranteed guard for the rest of the fight, it is basically like running another ultimate Gohan. And having two guaranteed guards with this insane of a stat line, that is what you call an indestructible wall right there. That is why I brought this Gohan. Well, th that's one of the reasons why I brought the Gohan. Ultimate Gohan. All right, so here we go. Um, I think I want to have him. Yeah, I want. I... <laughs> Look at that. Look at this attack. He's at 1 million. We haven't even started yet. Uh, You know what? I do want him to launch an ultra super attack. I do. I mean, sorry. I don't want him to launch. Ultra... I want him to launch a Dokkan attack. Let's see how nasty of a Dokkan attack that is. All right, that's five. It's serious. Time to get real serious. Okay, he's not gonna die here. Or is he? I don't think so. We need one more guard, so I'm I'm really hoping we he doesn't die. <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't. He would have totally died if that was a critical. That was 11 million damage. Bruh. All right, but now he got a sixth guard. So now he's finally achieved it. He's got guaranteed guard for the rest of the fight. He's gathered all six infinity stones. <laughs> I'm such a nerd. Okay, you're good. You're fine. Relax, walk it off. Okay. Wow, 11 million on a base hit. I'm so glad that wasn't a critical. That would have ruined the guard. We would have failed upwards again. All right, we are on to the final phase. So y'all know what that means. It is time for the boss music. And it is time to see how much damage this guy takes on a full power Super Saiyan 4 super attack. All right, so we need that guaranteed guard. That's going to happen. Uh -oh. That end slot is not looking so good. I, I'm gonna have to use oh my gosh okay you know what for the sake of not having damage protection next turn actually you know, you know what we're gonna need it for both turns because both of the Xenos are out there so yeah I'm gonna need that okay so let's uh let's have the Gohan go first then we'll have ultimate Gohan go second followed by Xeno Super Saiyan going third only doing this because of the last slot that's it I want to have the rotations maintained and there we go both units have finally achieved it final form super saiyan gohan all we need to see is that counter which didn't happen so far so i was kind of right okay less than a million you're good it's surprising that Xeno Super Saiyan is actually a defensive liability. Normally, the Xeno Saiyans have been doing a really good job keeping up. But that's how powerful these guys are. They're just ripping through these events left and right. All right, so one more turn. See, look at that. Look at that at the end. All right, so let's check out the stat line. One point... Wait, what? 1.2 million attacks. That 450,000 defense. And look at how that is compared to the LR AGL Gohan. Defense is basically the same attack is virtually double so yeah there you have it that is what you are dealing with with str gohan rainbowed max links at the helm once he has guaranteed guard and like i said we are utilizing that weiss because i'm a little scared of that xeno goku at the end next turn we're gonna be completely set we have full coverage next turn 5.2 million attacks that oh no oh this is not this isn't a key base super attack Ugh. You know what? If you guys are still watching, let me know in the comments what is the most amount of damage that you have seen in your own runs with that Gohan on a Key Blast Super Attack counter. If you guys have seen that, let me know in the comments approximately how many million you guys actually got to see on that attack. 
because we will not be seeing that in this video i'm pretty sure this is about to end on the next turn oh. Stop. full coverage this turn oh my you're not you're not getting through this one buddy that ain't happening bro okay let's throw him in the middle so he's got just under a million at 79 percent 411,000 attack look at where that is in comparison to the ultimate gohan who has been stacking throughout this event 1.1 million this str gohan has pretty much been able to keep pace defense is a little bit higher than the ultimate gohan but you know he's a pretty balanced stacking unit so let's have the ultimate gohan go for actually i better have how many links do we have here oh man all right you know what forget it ultimate gohan we don't care let's have str gohan do his thing and let's have physical future gohan do his thing if you get an additional that's great additional oh dodge okay oh he's attacking you well it doesn't matter <laughs> 39 all right 5.2 million attacks after the goal we have no supports this turn so that's expected 1.3 wait did i just get a little bit more what just happened i think i did whatever all right we're in the end game now let's end this uh what's our stat line 1.2 million that that rainbow is is pretty insane um let's do this let's do this just in case you know i don't want the run to to completely go to waste let's just use a princess snake and then we'll do that we should be done here i, I can't imagine this takes any longer than this turn right especially with this souped up <laughs> 10 million attack Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! 10 million attack stack for the Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. So there you have it, folks. What is my what is my verdict on this unit? This Gohan is easily one of the best units in the entire game the problem is the buildup. you have to build the unit up you will not be able to see this gohan in his fullest potential on a short form event like super battle road or collection of epic battle well maybe collection of epic battles or things like that you're going to need to have long form events like infinite dragon ball history legendary goku event legendary Vegeta event things like that but in a nutshell that is a very fun unit to run in every single form i love how the unit is built i love the mini game aspect of his guard mechanic Overall, I had a lot of fun and expect to see so many more showcases with this Goku Gohan duo. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like down below. Let me know in the comments, what do you guys think about the unit? Do you guys think that it is worth even pulling at 55%? If you're not able to have that dupe, is it worth having? Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Also, be sure to subscribe for more dope content of the future and click the notification bell so that you let YouTube know you want to see more of my stuff. Do it. Thanks again. Stay tuned and always remember to Dokkan responsibly.